Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. A lot of the stores out there are wrapping up their Black Friday sales, but we're going into Cyber Monday, so I figured I'd make a quick video just showing off some deals that I've run across that I think would definitely be worth it if you're looking for such a product. In this video, I definitely have a lot of stuff under that $100 mark, but, uh, you know, some of the bigger stuff that I've seen recently, I kind of wanted to throw in here. Because after all, I did a Black Friday video under 100 bucks. We had a lot of awesome products there, and some of them are going to transfer over to these Cyber Monday sales. But I do think that a lot of them are definitely worth putting in this video. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. And the first thing on my list here is the Xbox Series S. Now, if you're not an Xbox fan, I completely understand. Really wish we could get a PS5 at this price point. But at Walmart and Target right now, the Series S is $239. Now, I've also seen it at $249, I believe, on Amazon and Best Buy. But this is the lowest price that I've personally ever seen the Series S at, brand new. And at $239, I think this is a great little console if you're into the Xbox. Unfortunately, I personally haven't run across any great deals for PS5 consoles. Now, we've got the new PS5 Slim out, and they're going to be adding a game to most of these bundles for Cyber Monday, but that's about it. And when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, a lot of the accessories will be on sale. Uh, I've been seeing refurbished Switches, the OLEDs, all over the place. Uh, there were a couple deals with the uh, Switch Lite, just bundled games and things like that, but nothing really major. And I know we've been waiting for the new Nintendo Switch. Uh, hopefully Nintendo announces that soon, but you know, if you're looking for accessories or games, now's a good time to check it out. Moving over to something a bit more expensive. Now, throughout Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I've actually been looking for really good gaming laptop deals, and there's really not that many out there. I mean, at least, you know, under that $600 mark. Seen a few pop up here and there, but recently, Best Buy put the 15.6 inch HP Victus on sale for $549. Now with this, we do get that Core i5-13420H, which is a really decent performing CPU, and they've paired this up with the RTX 3050. Now I do wish that this had the 3060, but at 549, it's actually not too bad. Now the RTX 3050 is good for 1080p gaming. This does have a 15.6 inch, 144 hertz display, and for esports games, this 3050 is going to be more than enough. You want to play some Fortnite, some Overwatch, some Counter Strike, this laptop will definitely get you by. And if you're just looking for, you know, a laptop with a little extra power so you can game when you need to, this would actually work out really well as just an everyday little laptop, also. Not the most powerful on the market, but again, we are working with a pretty low price coming in at $549. Next thing on the Cyber Monday list is the all-new Amazon Fire HD 10. So this is $79.99, and this is the only time that I can recommend this when this tablet is at $80. Recently, I did a review. I'll leave a link for that video in the description. It's a great media consumption tablet. It'll do PSP. It'll do Dreamcast. Lots of emulators out of the way on this. It will even play Call of Duty Mobile, but it's not an ultra-powerful tablet. It's not going to do Genshin Impact. Either way you look at it, coming in at $80, not a bad deal. They do offer this in black, blue, and purple, and I think this is a great tablet for the kids or kind of a secondary media consumption option if you're not looking to pay a lot of money. Another couple things that I always pick up during Black Friday and Cyber Monday are extra controllers for my consoles. These Sony PlayStation 5 controllers don't go on sale much, but over on Best Buy, they're $49.99, and I believe every color is, so you can go with that blue. Yeah, Galactic Blue is also $49.99. Retail on these is $74.99, and again, I don't see them go on sale much, except for, you know, Prime Day, Cyber Monday, or Black Friday. So if you're looking for an extra DualSense controller for your PlayStation 5, might be a great time to pick one or two up. Going right along with this, Xbox controllers usually go on sale, you know, quite frequently throughout the year, but I usually pick up one or two during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I got the pink one recently from Walmart for $39.99, and over on Best Buy, they've got the Carbon Black, Robot White, and I believe Velocity Green is going to be a little more. So, you know, those oddball colors are going to be around $44. I think Walmart actually has this and the pink one for $39.99, so you might want to check that out also. The next thing I wanted to recommend was some extra storage for your Steam Deck, your ROG Ally, your Aya Neo, your Android phone or tablet. One terabyte Team Group A2 Pro cards are $49.99, and you can actually save $1 by going with a two-pack, so $101 for two one terabyte cards. They're actually really good cards. Now, if you wanted to go with a SanDisk, you will spend a lot more on a single card, 
and at $49.99, really hard to beat this for an extra one terabyte of storage. But if you're looking to kind of upgrade a 512 gigabyte Steam Deck, now would actually be a pretty decent time to pick up an M.2. The Steam Deck and the ROG Ally utilize an M.2 2230 SSD. These are kind of expensive throughout the year. I've seen a few manufacturers come into market with cheaper ones. Right now, the NDMEM M.2 2230 SSD, which is a Gen 4 SSD, is $79.99. So you can pick up a one terabyte there. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't seen any really good deals on a two terabyte. But definitely keep your eye out because you never know. I mean, some deals might be popping up throughout the week. And the final thing I wanted to mention here, once again, was the ROG Ally. So the Ryzen Z1 Extreme ROG Ally is $80 off over at Best Buy. And if you're one of the My Best Buy members, you can get an extra 20 off. It's $619 with that $80 discount. And they also have the Z1 non-extreme version coming in at $449. Now this really isn't the most powerful little handheld, but for emulation, it does work out pretty well. And if you're not looking to break the bank and you've been trying to get into it, might be a good option if you don't want to go with a Steam Deck. Now, of course, all of the major stores out there will be doing some kind of Cyber Monday sale. And you know, if you're looking for some Amazon products like the Alexa, Fire Stick, some Fire Tablets, definitely head over to Amazon. All the Alexa and Echo stuff is on sale. Fire TV Stick 4K Max is a really good deal right now. Other things that I usually pick up or have picked up for Black Friday are just external storage, internal storage. So Samsung actually has some pretty good deals going on with their external SSDs. A lot faster than the mechanical drives. But yeah, I mean, uh, even Newegg has a lot of great PC parts on sale right now. You can build a PC for a lot cheaper than you could all year. They've got CPU, motherboard, RAM bundles. I mean, uh, cases are on sale, GPUs. Basically, everything you need to build a PC is located over here. And recently, I did a video showing off an Intel and an AMD build that you could uh, pick up for pretty cheap or a lot cheaper than you could all year long around Black Friday and Cyber Monday from Newegg. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. It's just a couple recommendations that I came up with. Now, I know a lot of people are going to need different things, so it's really up to you in the end. Just do some searching. You can definitely find a really good deal over on Best Buy, Amazon, Newegg, Target, Walmart, wherever you want to shop in the U.S. I will leave links in the description to everything I mentioned in this video. And if any of you run across a really good deal on a gaming laptop, let me know in the comments below. Been looking for something a little more powerful for my wife, so I'd be really cool if I could find something. But that's it for this one. Like always, thanks for watching.